Hello, in this and the next video I'm just going to talk a little bit about what we've actually created um, and I'm not going to be able to explain all of it at the moment because there's just too much going on here for you to understand at this stage in the course. You will understand it later on. But for now I just want to talk a little bit just to familiarise you, just to sort of familiarise you a little bit with what's going on here so you'll feel hopefully a little bit less confused. And if you've actually created your own program here and you've run it and it says hello world or whatever then that's really a great achievement so you, sh you should be proud of that that's a fantastic start okay so um, let's take a look at what Eclipse has generated in this video so um, if you click your project and um, you you right click it so I should say click click the project name in the package explorer here and then right click it and go to properties and if on this dialog if you've got resource selected on the top left here then where it says location that will show you where your project is located and of course it's located in whatever folder you um, set the workspace to be so actually let's take a look at that on the disk so we'll go to it and um, my workspace folder is this. I called it workspace and you don't have to, but I did. And in there we've got a folder for the project and it's called Hello World. It's named after the project. We click on that and in there we've got a bin and a source folder. Now you don't have to have these folders in a Java project. So if you have decided for some reason to follow this using, for example, Visual Studio Code, and you're, you've looked up how to compile and run Java programs on the command line, then maybe you haven't created these. It is good practice to create them, bin and source, but um, they're not a part of the Java language. They're more like a sort of traditional standard in Java. The bin folder is where Eclipse puts your compiled programs. So when you take text files, that, are, that contain text written in a programming language and you turn them into a program some software does that and the software is in your Java development kit that process of turning text files into an actual runnable program that your computer understands is called building the program or compiling the program these, these are technically different but um, for the moment we'll just talk about compiling the program. So you're taking text files, turning them into an actual computer program and that stuff gets put in the bin folder and you can look at it if you want and you'll see an app.class file in there. That's what's actually being run when you run your program. Now in the source folder here, that's where we put our source code. The source code is the stuff that we're writing. Uh, and in there there's a folder called hello. The reason I've got a folder called hello is because I called my package hello. When I created this app.java class, which is what this is, this app.java is a class, I put it in a package called hello. So there's a folder called hello. Don't worry about these terms at the moment. I'm just beginning to use them so you get a feeling of familiarity with them, but you don't need to know exactly what they are at the moment. It's okay. So if we go into the hello folder, there's my app.java text file. That's what we've actually written. And that's this text file here. Okay. So what we've got is we've got a project located in the workspace. The project has one package in it called hello. So that, that's in its own folder. And inside that folder is a text file, app.java. And a text file has Java code in it that defines a class. And that, um, that app.java gets turned into a class file, which is located in our bin folder. So it's worth having a look at that in Windows Explorer or Mac Finder or whatever you're using, your file explorer. Just have a look at this, just to feel a bit more familiar with it. Um, in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about the code that we've actually written. Um, and all of this stuff 
I'm just giving you a very rough overview. You don't have to really understand what I'm saying in any depth. I'm just beginning to familiarize you with it, but we will be going over it a lot more in the rest of the course. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.